All right, what is this shape? So, this is another fractal. It's like a fractal of a tree, almost. So, what I started with is I started making this small shape. So I had three small yellows around a single right, yellow I'm zoom in. Hole. Okay, good. And then I added a medium on the end. And then I made two more of those and connected those along a yellow hole. And then I added a large. And I made two more of those and then I connected them at another large. And then just this is for like, to make it stand up. Yeah, spin this around a little bit if you can. So what what do you what do you think is interesting about this shape? Well, again, you can sort of see the kind of the symmetry in this. It's kind of uh, fractals. So you can usually see some symmetry in them. What do you what do you think fractal means? Well, I think it's just like if you follow a certain pattern, it's kind of Building shape following a repeating pattern. Hmm. Cool. So, what do you think this shape would start looking like if you did, you know, several more levels of it? Well, I think you can sort of see some sort of curve to it. If you made more levels, it might start looking like a more curved shape, kind of like a half sphere. Oh, wow. It would actually be pretty interesting to know if those endpoints all the way around the sphere. Two more of this shape. <coughs> Neat. Um, so what do you think, comparing the two shapes, which, which, uh, do you know the name of this shape? This, or does it have a name? Um, I'm not sure. I it just, it just says a third level tree. Okay. So you know, I don't think so. All right. So, what are some things that you think are similar about the two shapes? They well, they both have threefold symmetry. Okay. Like they're both built by following a certain pattern, but in this one, it's sort of it start. They both kind of start from the small ones, and then they kind of get larger and larger. Mm -hmm. And in the Sapinski's tetrahedron. It, you start with the small tetrahedrons and you build larger and larger. Okay. What do you think is different about these two shapes? Well, this one's not... This one is kind of sort of like a 3D shape. This is... It's three-dimensional, but it's not like a solid or... This is kind of a platonic solid, but... No, oh, that's interesting, yeah. I don't know what the fractal dimension of that tree is if you continued it forever. Mm -hmm. But we could look that up, maybe. All right, cool. Good work this morning.